I actually um, am doing this particular webinar, this Q&A session, is that I have become an avid planner. In the past, I've planned before. I've used an agenda. Um, I've written to-do lists. I've used my iPad. I've used my computer. I've used several types of um, devices and items just to kind of get a hold of my life. Like many of you who are on the call, uh, I'm a mother, I work, I'm also a wife, um, and I'm also an entrepreneur. And in what I do in my entrepreneurship, I coach, um, I also um, do other types of activities. And what I was finding is that I really couldn't keep a grasp and keep a hold on all of these different things. And, and it, sometimes I didn't know if I was coming, sometimes I didn't know if I was going. Um, I let some very important deadlines get past me. I also started to not be able to, to achieve the goals that I had set for myself. So what I did was I said, you know what, Yolanda, I, I have to go and I have to start planning. You know, I really need to, to do some planning to really kind of get a grasp on all the things that I have going on in my life. So I started carrying around this planner and, and talking and um, one young lady at our at the job, um, she's actually on the call, she saw me with the planner and um, she mentioned that, you know, oh, she would like it. So I picked her up one and she started planning it. Another um, young lady at the church saw me with my planner and was like, oh my God, that's awesome. And then she and I were somewhere talking and uh, uh, someone else saw us with our planners and talking about our planners and they wanted to know more and actually scheduled a one-on-one, -on -one, like a call and a meeting with me to ask me questions about, well, you know, how do you plan and how does it work? And I did it before, but it didn't work for me. What did you find that worked best and, and stuff? So uh, I was like, oh, you know, maybe I'll just do a little um, webinar while we're, since most of us are um, affected by the stay at home order, it, what a good way for us to um, talk about something that we would like to do, something that improves us, uh, as, well as, as well as keep our minds on other things and not necessarily on um, what is negatively impacting us currently. So with that being said, I'm going to open the floor up for questions. If anyone has um, a question to go ahead and get us started. And don't be shy, everyone. You may have to unmute yourself to ask a question. Do you have a set day that you do planning each week? I do. Uh, and what, I'm sorry, what's your name? Tiffany. Hi, Tiffany. Welcome. Um, I do have a set day that I do planning each week. Um, the planner that I use the first day of the week is Monday. So what I do is I do my planning on Sunday evening. So I sit down at the table and I really sit down and kind of think about what I have going on. Now, prior to my set day of the week, the prior week, what I do is I keep a, a little... Be careful. Oh, I think we hear you. <laughs> uh, I keep a little sheet in my agenda um, and I call it my brain dump sheet. So like if any, if someone asks me something or I have an idea or I have an appointment or a schedule, I just dump it. So it's like anything that possibly comes to my mind, I put it on my brain dump sheet. So as I'm sitting at my, at my desk and I'm thinking and I'm planning for that week, I look at my brain dump sheet and I say, you know what? What are some of the things that I need to do that has to, has to get done um, this week? And do they have any set deadlines? And um, so I start to assign priorities to these various things as well as give them deadlines and then put them into my agenda um, in that manner. So Sunday evening is my day for planning. Anyone else have a question? I do, Yolanda, when you started um, working with a planner, did you go into your planner with like an overall vision? Other than the purpose you needed to kind of get, did you have an overall vision 
for what that planner was needed to help you do more than just kind of stay on point? So at first I didn't, and that was something, and thank you, that was a, that's a really good question. I did not have a, an idea as to what I needed my planner to do or how. I just know I needed better organization. So what I did was I really just said, okay, what does my life consist of? What is going to help me keep track? What is the best method? How? What are, uh, what are some common denominators? And how can I put those in one uh, place in order to keep my very busy life together? So um, I didn't have, and, I got, and, and I, I got upon this. You know, I started last year, but I became more avid and more consistent this year. So I really... Uh, started with a whole different design, a whole different way of doing things. Um, I started initially doing daily, like with the times and keeping appointments and stuff like that. And why that works very well for my work life, because I have various meetings, like meetings from 10 to 11 and 12 to 2. It didn't work with my entrepreneurial life because I'm a, I'm a creative and I can't say, oh, from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., I'm going to sit down and, and, and Candy is going to talk, start talking to me and so I can write this in this book. So what I really had to do was to kind of, the what I found myself with that daily is I didn't keep up with it as much because it really wasn't the right type of planning for me to do so um, what I've done is just trial and error and before you invest in any type of planner there are so many things on the internet it free inserts free printable printables that you can get and with all of those things I say go out there grab them use them for a week or two before truly truly investing in what you think you need um, in order to plan that makes sense yes next question so I have a question. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I had to log out and log back in for the mic to enable because oh, I don't know how God. to do this stuff. <laughs> so, um, so one of the questions I have, so with my planner, I have different sections for different, different areas of my life. That includes school because I'm a full-time student, um, include ministry, um, just all kinds of stuff. So my question is how do you, and then I have my main planner, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So how do you reconcile everything? In other words, if I have something on my school calendar, how do I, do I, do you dump that onto your main calendar or do you just leave it in the school calendar? So it sounds to me like you do something that we call Franken planning. So in the planning world, they call it Frank, Franken planning, very similar to how Dr. Frankenstein created his person with different pieces and parts. You create your, you, you've created your planner for different pieces and parts of your life. Now, I myself have one general calendar. And because I am so busy, I keep those in my important dates, important reminders on that one general calendar. Otherwise, it would be like it. Some it would be it, the way is. It sounds like the way you have it currently set up is very similar to if you have five different journals and five different agendas. Because now you have to go to the different places to find what it is I need to do. So my recommendation to you would be to have one general monthly calendar where you keep um, certain things on the monthly calendar and then one weekly, like what am I doing this week? And then to portion it out. There are sev several different um, planning um, planners out there and they portion things out differently. So for example, if, um, because you are so very busy, there's, the, there's a format it either is uh, referred to as the 21, um, the 21 block 
or a teacher calendar. And what that allows you to do is to plan the week within several different, uh, seven different items. So for example, Monday, you can have a fitness section, you can have a school section, you can have a ministry section, you can have your work section. So because it has those 21 different blocks for that week, you can really plan it out. And if you don't have anything that day, so maybe Tuesday is nothing to do with school, you can put like a little affirmation quote there, like, girl, get it done are you doing it girl or something like that to kind of really keep you encouraged and to keep you on track so that's why it's important to really before thinking about uh, going into this what do I need my planner for so some people may not need that 21 um, block schedule some people may only need a three block schedule. And so if you're doing a three block schedule, there's this uh, the term called vertical planning where it cuts your days up into three different blocks. So you can have a block for the three most important things. And then there, there are those who are very work oriented. They need the times. And that's when you would go into a daily kind of schedule where it has like 8 a.m. in the different hour time slots for you to kind of block things out. That doesn't work for me. <laughs> no, I, I, yeah, that, so, that one doesn't. I'm, I'm too much all over the place. What I have right now, and I guess, I guess I'm doing it. Maybe I'm doing it right now. So, like for instance, on Wednesday, because I have assignments due on Wednesdays and Sundays for school. So on Wednesday it says school due today schoolwork. I have my sticker mm -hmm. that says due today schoolwork. And then when I flip back to the school section, it shows exactly what I need mm -hmm. to do. So the one. On, when, on my main calendar, it just yes. says work without detail. Correct. But when I flip back, it does show the detail. Yes. So I guess that's the that, right way to do it. Correct, correct. So for example, um, because I'm an entrepreneur and uh, a businesswoman, I have set goals for myself for the year and I have goals for myself for the month. So my, my annual goals is in one place. And then how I'm going to achieve those, those particular goals, I have what I call like a, a project sheet. So I'll take that goal and I'll break it down and then I assign it. So this particular goal is going to get accomplished in March. So if you go to my March calendar, you'll see it broken down a little bit more, the, the details and then the dates and things of that nature. So I can see a, a annual view of when things are going to get done. I can then see the monthly view. I can see the weekly view and then I can see the details. Okay, Yolanda, how are you going to achieve this? And then you'll see, okay, you first you need to do, you, so for example, one of my annual goals is to reduce my debt. So how am I going to reduce my debt? So that's an annual goal, it's big, but then I have it set up, different things that I'm going to do quarterly. And then for every quarter, the different steps that I have to take and go through. So that's that, those details for every step that I'm taking, that I'm doing, is in another section, whereas there's the reminder on the week and there's the reminder on the for the month and then of course the reminder on the year. Got it. Anybody else with questions? Is there a planner that you recommend over any other? So it depends on what you're using your planner for. I am a strong proponent of a planner that is customizable. Um, I think because you have to get a planner that works for you and works for what you need to get done. So um, sometimes it doesn't come straight, you know, out of the store that way. So uh, a customizable planner is usually a planner that has a disk system. So where pages or, or a notebook type of binder where you can um, flick open the notebook and put the pages in. So anything where you can add or remove pages would be what I recommend because then you can really customize it to, to work the way that you want it to work. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? So I know someone has sent me a question um, ahead of time. So I'll ask that question while you guys on the phone are looking, um, thinking about other questions. So um, one of the things that um, I was asked is, you know, a planner is really just, you know, a way to keep appointments. 
and, and as a schedule assistant. And so, you know, how, why would you need it to do more? And so my answer would be a planner is more than just a tool that keeps appointments, birthday reminders, or a things to do list keeper. Um, you can use your planner for a lot of other different things. For example, I spoke to Carol earlier about affirmations. Um, some of us need that daily, weekly, monthly reminder that we're more than enough. Um, your uh, planner can be somewhere that you track your fitness. Uh, a lot of us, I know with the stay at home, I find myself um, snacking a lot. And so what I'm doing now is I'm wearing my watch and I'm making myself, you know, walk up and down the stairs uh, um, at least twice before I can go get a snack. Um, so, you know, this is a way Need for me. <laughs> This is a way for me to really try, you know, uh, track my fitness. You can use it as a habit tracker. I need to drink more water. So I have um, every week, I have a little stamp with seven days to see how much water are you drinking, Yolanda? Memories. A lot of people don't think of it as that. A lot of people think of planning as something you do in advance, but you can actually use your planner to document memories, important memories. One of the things that I read about that I loved is that um, someone took a planner, they, they purchased a planner for each of their kids, and what they used that planner for was to write love letters to their children on specific days and include a picture of, of whatever that occurred that day, a memory, and then gave it to that child at the end of the year. Can you imagine oh, wow. if some of us had though, that love letter from, you know, like my dad is, is gone. If I could have a love letter that still speaks to me, you know, uh, from, from my dad. So just think about, you know, your planner is more than an appointment keeper and birthday reminder. So you can use it for a lot of things. Gratitudes. Um, those of us who are entrepreneurs, I use a section of my planner to plan my social media content. You know, so I really, I look and I say, okay, on this day, what am I gonna post about? And, be, and I, I believe everyone here um, is a believer of God. And in the book of Habakkuk, um, two and two says, write the vision and make it plain. And so when we use our, our, our planner to write our vision and to really document things, it really keeps us focused on what it is that we're trying to achieve and trying to get out there. So my social media section, because I'm planning my content, it doesn't allow me to stray. It keeps me focused on my message. It keeps me focused on the values of my brand. And it keeps me focused on what I'm doing as an entrepreneur and as an entrepreneur and as a businesswoman. And so it also allows me, because I'm using my planner to track my social media content, it also allows me to see what times I plan, what times did I post? So, oh, mornings are better. Or um, if I look at it and I see that um, this particular post um, uh, received more engagement, what did I do on that day or how did I do or what did I say that um, encouraged people to engage more with my social media? In that way, what I can do it becomes a lesson learned okay Yolanda you need to incorporate more of that type of thing in your social media um, output for your business like that any questions so one of the things that I do um, is and, and and you're right about so I get the stickers because <laughs> apparently it's an addiction so I have the stickers and I write little things like Monday I had a kind of a tough day, so I have my sticker here mm -hmm. that says everything is going to be okay. It was a right. reminder. Mm -hmm. And um, as I was building my blog content this week for my teaching ministry, and because it's for women, I have a sticker here that says strong women get things done. Mm -hmm. So it's like, and I have one that says he leads me, and I have it in the mornings when I usually do my prayer, my study time. So it's a lot of different ways. Um, I have cute stickers in there with flowers. So it's like, it's a way to keep me inspired. So it's not just for planning. It's like my little inspiration Correct. that I keep during the week. So Correct. it's a lot of things you can do with it other than, um, than planning. 
Yes. So if I'm hearing what you guys are saying, and this this is me, this is me kind of moving into my coaching thing. I'm sorry. But <laughs> so so I try Here, not to. Go. I'm gonna try not to. Okay, I'm gonna try to stay right there. Um so in essence, your your planner can become part of your your self-care or your mental health care plan. That is correct. That is me. correct. Right. And so what I am and, and because I am a creative you know, I like pretty things. I like nice things. And so what it does is this allows me not only to be functional, but for it to also be pretty. And so I, I love things that are pretty and functional. So just like Carol says, I just des I designed out my planner. So like this was this week. Hopefully you guys can kind of see it. So this is for this week. And so you'll see it's all nice and pretty and it has things. And, and so, and this is a slow week because, you know, it's stay at for home. For all of us. <laughs> <laughs> because it's stay at home. But, you know, sometimes as I'm going through, you know, like one last week I was in a little funk. And so I put something in my planner. It says, remember why you started. So why did I even start this journey? Why did I even do it? And so every time I open up my planner and even though I was in a little funk, that little, that little self, that little affirmation, it was like somebody telling me, why did you start doing this anyway? And that's what kept me going. And so, you know, I, that's, and that's one of the things that, like I said, that your planner can do for you. It's more than an appointment keeper. And so I just, I like to make it pretty. So Sundays, I usually, and I have my, I have three daughters and my girls and I, we spend Sunday evenings. Um, usually if I do it by myself, I'm at my desk, but if all of us are doing it together, we're at the dining room table and I have this really bad habit of buying books with the little stickers in them. <laughs> so I have the books spread all, all over the dining room table and we just sit there and we talk and we laugh and it's, it's girl time. It's, it's family time. And we, as we all start to plan what we're doing um, for the week, the things that we like, would like to get done. What are our goals? Like I have focus boxes for, okay, on Tuesday, my focus box is not always something to do. Sometimes my focus box is um, um, self-care, Yolanda. Focus on you, Yolanda. Or my focus box could be something as simple as chill. Any other questions? I do have a, I do have a, a statement. So um, as you know, and as the ladies might not know, Happy Planner um, is offering free shipping right now. <laughs> yes, Happy Planner is one of the planning companies that is offering uh, free shipping right there. Right now, they also have 70% off on a lot of, a, of their sale items. Um, in addition, Michael's is having a really good sale as well as Joanne's. And, and um, so those are some of the places that you can get uh, a lot of your planning supplies um, as well as Walmart. The good thing about these uh, places is shipping is really fast um, currently, and, um, and, it's, and with Walmart, you can actually purchase online and drive to pick it up, or you can have it um, shipped directly to your home. So if you want to start, and just so you know, um, if you want to start, but you don't know how, you can reach out to me individually, and I will definitely provide you with um, more information. So I'm going to put my email um, address Thank you. Um, in the chat box. So if you would like to reach out to me for a one-on-one -on -one with getting your planner set up. And I do this because I love it. This is nothing that I charge for. So um, if you want to do it, reach out to me. Um, there are a couple of people on the call that I've actually had one-on-ones with, with planning and, and getting started, um, and even a, and even with like vi visioneering. So that's just something that I do is I, I take my, the vision that's been given to me and, and, and chop it up into the little small pieces so that I can get it done. This is my box of stickers. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> See, Natasha, there's somebody else. See? <laughs> Natasha, this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. And I got more on the way because we have free shipping. This is crazy. I love that. <laughs> this is foolishness. 
I think you, I think you yes. may have. This is mine. <laughs> so oh. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I have mine in here. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, I'm real. No, not a little. Masha, this is my paper. Girl, I got half sheets. Yep. Same I thing. I have them. I have the paper and everything. Um, that that's in a different box. The extra sheets because that's what. So the one thing that I did was I actually uh, was at Ross, and I picked up my the planner that I have regularly runs about thirty bucks, and I got it for seven ninety nine. You would have thought I won the lottery the way I was dancing in Ross when I saw this planner. But it Can was we an see eight your planner, please. Can we see your planner? <laughs> so. So my planner, I changed the cover to um, this. This is rose gold. So this is this is my planner. Um, you may see at the top there are four tabs. So I've what these are called like dashboards. I've separated my life. So there's my vision tab. There's my calendar. There's my faith, and right here is my business tab. So my this is my dashboard. This is for 2020. So my vision for 2020 and what I'm, what I'm doing. So, and if you go in this vision, just like how Carol said before, and how I mentioned, so like this is my plan for reducing my debt for 2020. And so then that's the steps. And then I have the different days. And if you go back, you can see where I've checked it. And then this, of course, is my calendar schedule. And I, you know, and that's just a regular calendar. And then, of course, I have my face. And then I have my um, my company. So in my in my company and my entrepreneurial section, I have my social media planning um, information. Um, I, I I also have in there um, tracking for revenue. Um, so in tracking for revenue, because I always want to do better than I did last month, my, that's one of my goals is to make sure that I'm constantly improving. Um, another part of my uh, business um, uh, section actually goes back to my vision section because I'm working on branding and really um, branding myself and making sure that my company is branding and looking into trademarking um, certain things that I do in order to protect myself. So you'll see uh, different steps and the different things that I've taken, like for example, um, researching and, and finalizing what my core values are and, and the pillars um, that I have regarding my particular uh, company, my mission, my vision. All of that is a part of uh, my, my planner. And because I have it and I carry it around with me all is, and it's with me all the time, it's very easy um, for me to... Um, keep it in front of me. And it's just like, when you keep something in front of you, it, it, it forces you to really think about it. A, a lot of times, and I, I know people that create vision boards every year, and they put the pictures and stuff like that. And then they put the picture up on the wall, and they may never, some of, if they put it up on the wall, and they may never look at it again. And I love vision boards, but what do you do after the vision has been given to you or you've written it down. You know, you have to do more than just create a vision board or a vision list. Now you have to create a plan as to how are you going to achieve the vision. Now I'm a very, uh, my, I'm a, my, my faith is very strong and, and I'm a believer of, of God. And, and when you look at the book of Nehemiah and you look at what uh, God gave Nehemiah a vision, Nehemiah didn't just sit around with the vision, even though, you know, he didn't know how things were done. He started to plan. And that way, when the opportunity and favor presented itself, he was ready. There are a lot of us, we're sitting around with a vision, and then it's like, but we don't do anything with it. 
we we just sit there with it you know and it's just like but god gave you the vision you have to work it you got to plan okay what happens this and this and this and so someone just put in the in the chat box you know how many times a day do i pull out my planner and look at it my planner <laughs> goes with me everywhere i take my I, takara i take my planner to work I have my, and I commute to work. I take the express bus back when we were going in. So I have my planner with me at all times. And so I, I look at it often because I also have things that I need to get done that day. So it sits on my desk open. So I see, okay, what, and I, so I constantly see what my focus is for the day. That way I can still check things off or um, I can reevaluate what it is that's priority. Now, when I first started um, this journey, I started, I was, you know, I'm, I, I think I'm Wonder Woman. Uh, and, and so, in my journal, in my planner, I had all these things. Like I was like, oh, I have a planner now. I'm going to write everything down and then watch me check all these lists off and do all these things. And I realized that, you know what? That's, uh, that's not going to work. Because what I, found, what I found myself happening, doing is not achieving the things that I have put in my planner. And that's a downer. And then that's what happens is that you, that's what happens with a lot of people is that, oh, it's not working for me because you wrote down 30 things on the list and you did two. So that's, what, that's why your planning time is important when you look at that brain dump is because then you set a priority. You know what? Yes, I want to do this, but this is not a must for next week. That can actually wait until next month. Or yes, I love this, but I, I can do that two weeks from now. So, you know, this is, this is really what we need to kind of get into and to think about is look at it daily, prioritize. Don't try to do everything in one day, in one week, in one month. Really jot it down, map it out, and that way you'll be able to achieve it. Um, for the record, a little advice to the ladies. Um, because Yolanda got me hooked on this whole happy planning thing, whenever I buy stickers, I send her the receipt for reimbursement. She hasn't actually reimbursed me yet, but I'm still hopeful. <laughs> So I have a question. Uh huh. So as we are, you know, we're approaching a new month. And yes. I, so I got my actually my calendar. My planner was a gift from Yolanda. <laughs> I'm an and enabler. I know. <laughs> she got me hooked, and she got me like a whole bunch of stickers as well. So now I'm hooked, and and you know this has really blessed me because um, we at the, at the beginning of the year we sat out. We 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 um you know kind of mapped out the year and we did a vision board you know on party and somewhat and and you know and as I plan and all you know month to month I find like I'm accomplishing a lot of you know things that I wanted to accomplish at the, the end of the month and so my question to you Yolanda is so when you set out um like say when it's towards the end of the month and you know you have a new month approaching how do you plan out your your month and how do you check off to see if you're, you know, accomplishing what you wanted to accomplish for the month. Okay, perfect. So um, Carol mentioned earlier half sheets, right? Mm -hmm. And what half sheets are is just a sheet of paper you kind of cut in half and you can just stick it in between. So sure. what I do is as I do that brain dump, when I say, oh, this can happen next month, I put it on my next month half sheet. So uh, another way too is post-it notes. Like I keep on my desk post-it notes and then I just write the thing on my post-it note and then I put stick it and say, okay, for the next month. So I know that's something that I'm going to, um, that that's something I'm going to do next month. So um, what I do is, so typically, so like tomorrow night, and, you know, I already spoke to you all about how on um, Sundays is my planning day. And I don't let anything interrupt my planning day. Otherwise, I feel like I'm lost. Um, is for the month, because Wednesday starts a new month, is I really start to think about what I'm doing for my monthly schedule. So one of the things that you all will see in, in a lot of planners is that they have this 
they have what's considered a monthly layout. And this is a, mo a monthly layout here. So they have this monthly layout. And what I try to do is not be redundant in my planner so that I know there's one space to record information. I use my monthly layout strictly for appointments and birthdays and places I need to be. So um, you all know I'm an, uh, um, an entrepreneur and I'm a team coach. So if I have to be somewhere coaching, it's on my monthly schedule. And what this allows me to do is to better accept or not accept um, engagements and, or different activities because I have it already in, that, in my monthly view as to what I'm going to do. Birthdays as well. I can go ahead and start filling in birthdays and, and different things, or I'm part of a book club, so I know when my book club meeting is and where. Um, I have a dog, so my monthly calendar tells me when to give Duke his flea medicine so that we can keep him uh, critter free. So those are just different things that I put, the, different types of things that I put on my monthly view, whereas my weekly view is different. And like I mentioned earlier on in the call um, with the weekly view, is that I use the weekly view to more as things that have to get done that week and what's my focus. So I'll have like a weekly focus in that, okay, this week, if you don't do anything else, you have to get this completed. And then I have more day-to-day -day focus things. Or, okay, make sure you call the doctor this day or, um, you know, or this week it, I had different like activities that I needed to get done and needed to get um, completed and for a certain days. So I wrote them on that those particular days. So that's how I do my, my monthly. So right now, Natasha, with April coming Wednesday, you know, you start to think about what it is that you want to do in order to um, uh, for April, you know, to start planning out April and what it looks like and what I and what I find is that my monthly view helps me my monthly planning helps me better with my weekly planning, which in turn helps me with my daily planning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions? How are you using your planner during this this time, during this quarantine time when, um, you know, plans are kind of up in the air, um, our work schedules are off, um, you know, we're not outside, you know, so what do you, what do you do during a time like this? I mean, I know this is unplanned, mm -hmm. you know, so <laughs> I guess the question would be, how do you plan for the unplanned? So, well, my planner, I've gotten, so I'm still working. <laughs> just working from home so but the type of work that i'm doing is more um is broader so before my tasks were more were smaller driven and kind of like boom 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 now i'm working on activities and and things that take longer than one or two days to do so i'm working on on, on projects that are um, you know, two week projects and things of that nature. So I'm using my planner to help me with starting and um, finishing those projects. So I still plot them out to say, okay, start, start by this date in order to be able to um, do things. I also have built in some meditation space. So for example, today on my, um, in my planner, I have a spot for meditation. You know, I'm realizing that with all of our lives being changed and being different, we do need more time in order for us to really uh, meditate and, and, and to deal with any anxiety that we may have, um, any depression that we may have, and to really be able to get in touch with the inner you so that you can be all right during this very unusual uh um, the, this very unusual thing that's going on in the world right now. So today I've really plotted and say, yes, 
today you need to really go and and and, and to get your, get yourself together so it may be something as simple as to go outside in the backyard and play bubbles with the, with the dog but it's something that um i'll need in order to refocus myself and to rejuvenate myself uh, and to really uh get in tune with how i'm feeling um internally with this particular situation so i see some some of um, you guys are chatting in the in the chat box and um vivian was saying that she uses she does she has a goal book where she has daily short-term goals and long-term goals like a checklist and that's something that i've done as well that's in my my vision um 2020 section and that i have my overall larger goal and then i have smaller goals that go towards the the larger goal and then things that i have to do in order to achieve the smaller goals and what i then do is take those like i said before is take those and then plot them out so that i don't lose track of them um vivian also said we should have a sticker exchange <laughs> for the ones we don't use we could mail each other and claudette says i agree i think that would definitely be a good idea for the starters too now for those of you who are yeah, i think we can just go shopping in y'all boxes <laughs> <laughs> For those of more stickers. <laughs> for those of you who are um, thinking about becoming um, happy planners, who and happy planners do make this whole. Um, they and Erin Condren is another brand that has um, stickers. Um, you can find them sometimes as cheap. like I I was able to get some stickers for like seven seven dollars, and some of the books have a thousand plus stickers in it. Now, if you, before getting, as you're thinking about this, and if I had to recommend um, stickers that you cannot live without, um, I would recommend that everyone purchase their own book of quotes. Um, Happy Planner makes several books, and it has nothing but quotes in it. And these are those things that um, help you to affirm yourself. Uh, and you can, like I said, Amazon carries them. Michaels is having a sale. You can use your 50% off um, coupon from Michaels to invest in one. They, they actually right now have, there is a book of stickers. It has tens of thousands of stickers in it. It's called the Mega Book. That's normally 50 bucks. Right now it's $20. Plus you use your coupon and your free shipping and you're, you're good like a bandit. But I recommend everyone get that sticker book. It's a book of quotes. The other sticker book would be uh, Color for Boxes. And I have two of those because I use those a lot. And the Color for Boxes is what I use for my focus. So I use the colorful boxes to say, okay, this is my focus for the day. Um, another uh, book that I recommend um, sticker book that I recommend that you get will also be um, household or every day. Either one of those would work. Now, I like the household because it has the little paw print in it. So it helps me keep track of when Duke needs things like go to the vet. <laughs> he needs food. Buy him some food. He needs his flea medicine because he can't talk. So <laughs> unlike, unlike the kids, the kids can come and say, mommy, I'm hungry. <laughs> Duke just looks at me with the puppy dog eyes and, and cries and I have no idea what he's talking about but it um so those are the the three sticker books would be the book of quotes um uh, colorful boxes and a household or a productivity book so the product productivity book would be more for my entrepreneurs that's on the call because it does something like what you're saying Vivian is where um, a productivity sticker it has a goal with a checklist and um, I may be able to put my hands on it right away and I can show you what that productivity sticker looks like so that you can see and then this is something that you can use in your goals section um, and to help you kind of so here is one so this is this is like a one of the things so you would put your goal at the top and then you would write in here the different things that you need to do in oh, order cool. to um, achieve your goals that's cool 
So any other questions? There's a, there's happy planner stickers for everything. Yes, there are. I mean, I've, they have, and I, I sent a picture to Carol and she started laughing with, during this whole pandemic, the one thing that we've all been trying to find is toilet tissue. And I have a happy planner sticker book that has tons of toilet t rolls of toilet tissue in it. So <laughs> I guess that's to remind you to purchase toilet tissue. Yeah. Just to let you guys know, um, Happy Planners has the book of quotes, but it's called the Value Pack, uh -huh. um, with 657 stickers for 13.99 on sale. Oh, oh nice. awesome! Where is, and is that Happy Planner at the Happy Planner yes. website? Awesome! And yes. right now they have free shipping with no minimum, so you can start with just that. And the other thing, too, because I know Vivian is an artist as well, is you can get the book of quotes and you don't need anything else but stencils. So you can get like Amazon has the stencils of the boxes and stuff. And then like your 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 pens. So I have like pens and markers in every different color. So if if I don't have a sticker for it, I can I could draw it or if I don't have a picture, you know, mine doesn't look like Vivian's, but, you know, <laughs> And Vivian do our stuff too, because all of us aren't artists. <laughs> I want Vivian to do mine too. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I actually have the bullet journal that I draw in so that each week is colorful because then also since coloring is therapeutic, it helps me during my meditation to just like draw out the next day or plan out the planner according to that day. Nice. <laughs> Okay, so are there any other questions? I have a question. Is there a way that you can give Claudette homework? <laughs> I, she has homework already. Yeah, I gave Claudette homework already, so I just I think that you she hasn't she already. hasn't returned it to me yet. Interesting. But, did you did you remind her that that she still hasn't turned in her homework? No, I haven't reminded Claudette that she hasn't turned in her homework. Yeah, you should. I didn't I didn't know I was supposed to turn it in. I'm sorry. I thought I was just supposed to, to watch it and. and <laughs> no, we want you to turn in your homework, Claudette. We want you to we want you to be treated the way you treat us about publishing deadlines. Yeah, Claudette is is a is a um, an awesome um, writing coach. She's also a publisher um, and an author. Um, she actually, her she has an um, uh, she's doing a private screening of a play on tomorrow. So, Claudette, if you want to drop that link. Um, in the box, if th that's if you would like to invite these ladies to participate, um, okay. um, you can do that. But she's also her one of her plays was accepted in a recent um, um, competition for um, stage plays and, as an award winner. And so they're going to do a reading, I believe it's sometime this summer. So, you know, you, and you can follow her. She's also on Facebook and Instagram. On Instagram, she's ECF Creative. And everybody drop your, your Instagram um, links where this is a time of sharing. Drop your Instagram links and your Facebook pages in the chat box. And uh, I would like to encourage everyone to, you know, let's follow each other. Let's support each other. It's all about us, women supporting women um, as we um, launch out and get, uh, and get our businesses and our things off the ground. Um, and it, it's really about us supporting each other in order for us to become bigger and, and, and stronger. And so... So I know there was a one other question and, and um, was that how to use your planner to create a mission that sticks. So that was something that Vivian, a question that Vivian has sent to me earlier is how to create, how to use your planner to create a mission that sticks. And so when I, the, how to make it stick is to how is to make sure that it's always in front of you. And the one thing to also know, Vivian, is that it's not, sometimes things change. Sometimes you evolve. So there will, there may come a time when you'll have to change your mission um, because your business has grown. So, um, so, you know, but 
you'll know this if you keep your mission in front of you. If you think about those of you who have gone to the cor corporative op offices and, and things of that nature, it's like when you walk in, their mission and what they do is everywhere it's all around you you can't you you can't get over it you can't get around it and that's something that we as small businesses we may not have a physical building or a physical corporation um, to have our mission and, and, and our brand be everywhere, but you can do it in your own little private area. You know, for example, I, I have my shirt, you know, as a reminder of what I'm doing and I have other merchandise and, you know, I have things on the wall in my office um, to constantly remind me of who I am. I have it in my planner to constantly remind me of who I am and what I'm doing and what value I bring um, to those who utilize my services. So I'm constantly um, trying to do that in order to become um, better at what I'm doing. Any other questions? And has everyone um, been able to put their their IG handles or Facebook handles or web pages. You can drop them in the chat box so that um, those that are here will be able to follow and support you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Yolanda. It was very informative. Oh, thank you, Don. I met everybody. I met Don yesterday on another tele webinar. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, cool. Hi. Hi Bye. Welcome to our craziness. <laughs> yes. So, um, thank you, thank you, everyone, for for joining. And if you would like to do more of these things or more focused things, um, let me know. You can follow me on YouTube. Um, and I think almost everyone I, I have um, their information here. Uh, I'll also put my YouTube information on my Instagram page so you can follow me there. So I'll be uh, uploading more videos regarding um, what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And um, so hopefully you look forward to seeing those types of things. And if you want another webinar, let me know and I'll we would like another webinar <laughs> on what topic though well we can continue with this one and plus there might be people who have mm -hmm. questions um as we start to utilize the things that you are talking about today uh, we might need more information um also i know that you'll probably have access to the stuff that's in the chat would you be able to send this out to all of us with everybody's information in it um okay i'm gonna yes i'm going to save the chat i just save the chat so yes okay okay but um so Yolanda. Vivian said like a follow-up plan on one-on-one -on -one. like I know Claudette and I probably need a follow-up because we did a one-on-one -on -one and she may have questions from there so yeah because I wanted because you mentioned something um you mentioned something earlier about um paper or something and that was a question I meant to ask earlier. So yeah, follow up would be good. Like what kind of, if you're printing out stuff to put in your own planner, what kind of paper? 32 pounds, minimum, okay. minimum 32 pounds because it's more durable. So like this, this paper is more durable. It's thicker. I can take it in and out and it's a 32 pound paper. And it, 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 it's good because it doesn't rip easy when I'm taking it out of my notebook or putting it back in. Um, so minimum 32 pounds is what I recommend. Happy Planner has a, um, a punch hole thing. Yes. And mm -hmm. so probably now would be a good time to buy it um, since they have free shipping. So if you do print your own sheets, you need that special puncher thing because their thing is different than a typical one. <laughs> so Vivian was, Vivian's giving ideas. She's saying um, the next webinar can also start a chat on what what to do while falling, failing forward to meet success. So yeah, so it's not, um, we're, we're not always, you know, and I mentioned this um, earlier in that when I started, I'll definitely I am not where I'm at now, 
and even earlier this year and even uh, as as soon as like a couple of weeks ago i'm you know and i i change and i realize okay this is gonna work better for me oh and i need to add this or you know what this is not working and so the one thing is is that you have to be definitely be flexible and that's why i recommend um, a, a journal or a, a, and a planner that allows you to customize it to how you're working and how you work. So thank you all so much. I don't want to keep you all uh, much longer um, because I want to be uh, conscientious of everyone's time. Thank you for joining. And if you, I'm going to post this video on um, YouTube my edit my video editor is on the phone so hopefully <laughs> hopefully she'll edit this and post it on youtube for me so if you missed anything and you want to refer back to it it'll be there all right thank you all so much thank you all right have a good day, have a good day. okay bye bye everybody be safe stay home stay safe <laughs> bye, -bye.